Hi, I'm Anthony Ha from TechCrunch, and I'm here at the offices of Casper, a startup that's focused on mattresses with the co-founder and CEO, Philip Krim. Uh, so maybe the best place to start is just in one sentence or less, what is Casper? Casper is a brand about sleep, and we're starting to build that brand by changing the way that people buy mattresses. What, what do you think is broken about the way people buy mattresses now? It's just a, a terrible consumer experience all around. Uh, consumers are taken advantage of, they, they overpay at retail, it's a product they don't know a lot about, and their experience is driven by a, a commission salesperson. And uh, by leveraging a direct-to-consumer business model in economics, we could bring a, a super high-quality, super comfortable mattress to market at a fraction of what you'd pay for at retail. So how, in terms of the process itself of buying the mattress, what do you think is, what, what's going to be the, sort of the biggest difference if somebody buys from Casper versus a regular retailer? Sure, great question. So by going direct-to-consumers and selling through our own website, we're able to cut out the middlemen of a traditional retail store. So a bed that uses some of the materials that we use would traditionally retail for three or four thousand um, dollars. But by going direct, we're able to sell it for under a thousand dollars at all sizes. We're gonna look at the mattress in a second, but first I wanna hear a little bit about this office actually that we're in. What was sort of the, your goal in, in decorating the office? Yeah, we wanted to get something that was comfortable, something where people could come by, check out the product, meet us, and be in an environment that felt like home. And so when you see the mattress set up, it's very much designed to feel like someone's bedroom. So you could feel how it would feel at home. And so we went with a very comfortable but functional setup. Now we are in the bedroom of the, the Casper office. How many people do you think have, uh, have slept on this mattress? Uh, you know, not too many have slept on it, but quite a few have laid and, and uh, enjoyed their time in the Casper bedroom. A few office naps, maybe? A few office naps here and there, but... Uh, yeah. Well, maybe tell us just you know, a little bit about actually how, how the bed is made. Yeah, so the secret sauce of what we made on the bed that really led to, I think, one of the most comfortable beds ever created are the unique ways that we combine latex foam and memory foam. And by putting latex foam on top of memory foam, you actually still get the benefit of memory foam and you solve all of the deficiencies of memory foam. So our bed sleeps cool, it circulates air well, and you don't feel like you ever get stuck in it, which are a lot of people have said is a deficit of memory foam. So the bed really is outrageously comfortable. I'd, I'd love for you to sit on it and give yeah, it a shot if you like. Yeah, let's try it out. Okay. Uh, sit down. All right. <laughs> Walk me through this. What should I be noticing? So the bed has the traditional kind of bouncy feel that you would want from a spring bed. Uh, and it doesn't have that kind of stuck-in feeling that you would yeah. see from a memory foam bed. But it uh, contours to your body and supports you, uh, which is what you want for a good night's sleep and, and proper anatomical support. Um, and so I assume you sleep on a, on a Casper bed? I do, yes. How, 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 how well do you sleep? I sleep very well. <laughs> Not as many hours as I'd like, but uh, when I do get sleep, it's, uh, it's super comfortable. Well, part of that is you guys just uh, started shipping the beds a few weeks ago? We did. We launched uh, a little less than a month ago. And how's that been going? It's been going phenomenally well. We're, we're uh, very happy. We've been very successful. Got a ton of press coverage and a ton of orders. So. We're still behind on shipping beds out, and uh, we're shipping every day that we have production and uh, getting caught up as quickly as we can. And you guys actually have a pretty unusual way of, act of delivering the beds as well, right? We can do. We talk about that? Yeah, the beds actually come compressed in a box that's a little bigger than a set of golf clubs, and we ship them right now directly from the factory, which is outside of Atlanta, Georgia, all over the country. Um, so they ship via UPS, and if you're in New York City, we'll actually deliver it via courier service. So we've actually bike messaged bed beds to customers, and I think we're the the first company that can claim mattress delivery via, via bike messenger. And no accidents yet. No accidents yet, fortunately. <laughs> uh, so I, I just have to return once more to the uh, decorations in, in, sure. the, uh, in the office because I noticed that uh, over there we have a bookshelf where you have, I, I didn't bother to count, but you know, more than 10 copies of Dune. Why, why is that? Uh, one of my co-founders, Luke, is a big Dune fan and uh, he just wanted to make sure that he had enough uh, extra copies to give out to anyone that might uh, be as interested in it as he is. All right, I'm all tucked in here in my uh, Casper bed with my copy of Dune. Um, they've been very gracious hosts, and uh, apparently they're open to visitors uh, here in their NoHo office. Uh, but also, if you can't make it to New York, you can go to the Casper website at caspersleep.com. Thanks for joining us.